Good morning, guys. It's Drina here in Perth, and it is Saturday morning. What's the date? 18th of February. I am just chilling in my bed. And yeah, feeling pretty good, guys. I gotta have a shower, I gotta brush my hair. It's like starting to become a dreaded mess. Um, hmm, I don't have much to say today. I just wanted to reach out and say, hello, everybody. I hope you're well. <laughs> Manic much? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm not actually. I'm just a bit, just a bit happy to be alive. Maybe that's it. I've been having a lot of gratitude for all the great things. From the little things to the bigger things and I've just been realizing how talking to people about my mental health and opening up and speaking my truth over the last year has actually been quite a freaking amazing experience. I fucking love it. <coughs> <coughs> awesome. Flem attack. Um, yeah, I think there's something that I, I've always heard from a friend and then other people say it for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years, at least I've heard this saying, no man is an island. You can choose to be, but it really does suck. You know, like being by yourself, isolating yourself, getting too down on yourself, beating up on yourself. It's really not healthy. I believe that um, part of personal growth and development and really finding yourself is also putting yourself outside of your comfort zone reaching out to people but you need to you need to connect with the people who are right for you in that moment i truly believe that um yeah so just rambling wisdom this morning guys <laughs> my life experience anyway so yeah, I took, uh, what is it called, Lamitragine, 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 for the first time last night. Um, I was still fighting my sleep, so I was still pushing to wake up. Now, when I spoke to the pharmacist when I bought it last night before taking it, he said um, it can help with sleep. I've got a feeling they'll be increasing my dosage. I've started on 25 mg. I think it's going to go up to 50 at least. Um, I was still fighting my sleep. I was still waking up and, you know, just a bit kind of, I don't know. I was, uh... but the good thing was, is I kept falling asleep again as well. So, you know, I did sleep and it, I think it helped me go into deeper states of sleep than what I may be used to, which is good because we all need really beautiful restorative sleep to function and feel good. Otherwise you're just no good for yourself and other people either. Uh, yes, yeah, so asleep guys, all the real, you know, um, simple truths in life are the ones that, you know, will help you, stay healthy and get on track. So, you know, um, moderate diet. I don't care whether you're vegan, vegetarian or a meat eater. You, you need, you need to do what your body needs and like denying it of things that make you function well is it's a bit silly, really. Um, so yeah, eat well, don't be too hard on yourself, get good sleep, talk to yourself. Talking to yourself is a sign of good health. It's not a sign of insanity. And I'm not talking about the poor souls who live with schizophrenia and have to deal with delusions and hallucinations and things that are out of touch with reality. And it's it's been scientifically proven time and time again that if you talk to yourself, I do it sometimes, I do it um, frequently and it helps with anxiety and to get jobs done because I struggle with focus. It's now question questionable uh, with my GP and psychiatrist that 
I have ADD and quite possibly bipolar too. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll expand on that a bit more later. I, I have some ideas, but I think what I need to do is write things out before I make videos. Woo! So um, it comes across a bit more uh, clear as to what I'm trying to express without rambling. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so either way, you've still got to, you've still got, like, I find talking to myself, it's like I can just go, okay, I'm washing the dishes. And it's it's kind of a mind, um, a mindfulness technique and practice that, people like Buddhists do as well because you're actually staying in the present moment when you do that. So I actually think it's a great plan of attack for anyone with different, with all varied uh, mental health issues, disorders. I'm in the kitchen, I'm putting on the kettle, I'm making myself a cup of tea. You're talking yourself through what you're actually doing. As long as that is actually what you're doing, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I'm washing this plate. You're getting the dishes done, you know, and it's like, I find it, it can, it, I resist it at times, but it becomes, it becomes like a meditation in practice. So, um, there you go. There's another tip for life. Talking to yourself. Yes. I'm not crazy. I'm healthy. Um, anyway, my boyfriend just sent me a text message. Go away, text message. Uh, yeah, guys, so I am reaching out. I'm getting outside of my comfort zone. I'm also now with a feminist group called Reclaim the Night. So this is simply an important issue that needs to be dealt with still. It's about uh, domestic violence, rape and violence, male perpetrators, so about stopping male domestic violence towards women because it's still a huge thing. doesn't matter where you are in the world, it's still a huge thing. So tomorrow, um, as part of the Women's AFL, the Australian Football League, we're doing um, the before, we're going to be in Before the Siren and we're going to be running through a, a banner with other... Um, female groups in Western Australia at the Fremantle Oval to, yeah, promote um, women in society, really, and standing up for women, women's rights, women are here, we exist, we're real, we can do all the things that men do, pretty much. Um, yes, yeah, so that's going to be good. I still find it very challenging because I don't believe that I have a lot of input yet and I feel the women that are part of the group are quite educated and political and and it's great because we need this is what we need but I find it a, a challenge for me so I don't quite know how I fit in there and what I can give to the group but I've decided to put myself out there and be part of it so there you go um all right guys I am going to finish this video oh under 10 minutes that's good and I'm off to a games day with some friends, tabletop gaming. So, you know, things like Cards Against Humanity and other games. I can't even think at the mo moment. Articulate. <laughs> Double entendre. Um, what else are we playing? I don't know. But, yeah, it should be fun. And whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fun time doing it. And that it's good for you and good for others. And, uh, yeah, stay true to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Accept yourself. And, yeah, share share that ethos and energy, not just with yourself, but with others as well. Itchy nose. Oh. <laughs> no, there hasn't been too much boobage. Good. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, have a fun weekend. And mwah, I love you all. Uh, come over to my channel, say hi, share part of your life with me, tell me your stories. 
um, I'm all about networking and communicating and connecting with people. And if you haven't seen some of my other videos, go and have a look, see if there's anything that resonates with you. Um, I've been dealing with mental health. I have suffered depression since I was like about four or five years old. And yeah, so I'm kind of expanding on my, my journey and my healing and things like that. It's good. I'm in a good place at the moment. So again, second goodbye. Have a lovely day and a great weekend. And yeah, enjoy. Bye.